I am continuing in my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am continuing reading in a chronological order, according to event, not according to publication or volume. So I'm skipping around a bit as I move along. We have finished Alma, now we are turning to Hume. Alma was the book written by Alma the Younger and his sons, both Helaman and Shiblon. Helaman is written by Helaman's son, Helaman, and his son, Nephi. The wars with Amalekiah and the Lamanites are over. Malachiah and his brother, Amaron, are both dead. Moroni, the great chief captain of the Nephite armies, has died relatively young, and his son, Amaroniha, is now chief captain and has already driven the Lamanites out once. Helaman has died. Shiblon has died. Pehoran is still the chief judge. That's where we left off. Now, like most of the other books in the Book of Mormon, Helaman has a book heading that was part of the original translation. So for this video, we're just going to read that heading. Introduce the book. The Book of Helaman. An account of the Nephites, their wars and contentions and their dissensions, and also the prophecies of many holy prophets before the coming of Christ, according to the records of Helaman, who was the son of Helaman, and also according to the records of his sons, even down to the coming of Christ. And also many of the Lamanites are converted, an account of their conversion, an account of the righteousness of the Lamanites and the wickedness and abominations of the Nephites, according to the record of Helaman and his sons, even down to the coming of Christ, which is called the Book of Helaman. We can kind of see in this introduction, this heading, that most of this is written by Mormon. It is taken from the account of Helaman and his sons, but it is actually written by Mormon. This is as it's not in the first person. It doesn't declare that this is Helaman, that I, Helaman, wrote this record, like it does with First Nephi. But you can see there's a lot going on in Helaman. And I think that's why, as I mentioned, Moroni dies young, or relatively young. He's like 47 years old when he dies. And I think it's because God knew that we were coming into this very dark time for the Nephites. Just before the coming of Christ, the period of the Nephites, that, that's where it's the darkest. That's where we have the most iniquity, the most wickedness among the Nephites. They fall significantly. They, they, just all kinds of problems. Now, it's not quite as bad as it will be in the days of Mormon. But other than the final destruction, this is going to be the darkest point in the Nephite history. And it covers quite a bit of time because Christ is born in the 91st year of the reign of the judges. And this has ended in, I believe it was the 56th year, so it's going to cover almost 40 years. When I personally divide the Book of Mormon up into sections and do kind of time periods, the basic divisions that I give it are usually, you have the small plates, which is 1st Nephi through Omni, and I include portions of the Words of Mormon in there too. Then you have the reign of the kings. And I know during the small plates you have kings, but you don't really talk about the kings. The time of the reign of the kings, which is where the narrative is focused around the kings, that's Mosiah, where you have King Mo Benjamin, King Mosiah, King Zenith, Limhi, Noah. We have all these kings. Then you get the reign of the judges, which is the book of Alma. And even though the reign of the judges continues all the way until the death of Christ, once you hit Helaman, now we come into the period of the robbers, the Gadianton robbers. And that's what we're, that's what the book of Helaman is really focused on more than anything, is the Gadianton robbers. There's a lot of prophecies here. Samuel the Lamanite is in this portion. But this is the period of the secret combinations. So... We'll have some fun with it, and I'll see you in chapter one.